to my earlier, replacing the knuckle. And now it's time to work on this SI, replace inner, outer tie rods, and then replace the rear sway bar links. Um, we've we got an axle as well that we're gonna be replacing on this video, guys. So that's how I was getting some TLC today, boys. Alright guys, we got the SI in here, uh, now we're fixing to uh, start taking it apart, start taking the wheel off, popping the axle out, and uh, these tie rods boys, and look at all the gems in here boy, Woo! especially that one. None of this is junk, boys. Might look how it would look to some of y'all out there, but to me, this is all gold. All right, guys. Kind of got in a hurry and uh, didn't get none of this on film, on camera. But I've got the axle nut broken loose with the 36 millimeter socket, which is right there on the impact. I've got this outer tie rod nut pause which is right there it's a castle nut broken loose as well so tie rod outer tie rod is ready to come out as you can see now i wouldn't recommend hitting those with the hammer at all but since these are going to be replaced it doesn't matter so got all that loose axles ready to come out so i'm just gonna uh get everything ready to uh take that inner tie rod loose but first i've got to remove that rubber boot that's right there that is also tore as you can see so i'm gonna get everything ready and then i'm gonna take y'all with me from this point on All right, boys, as y'all can see, we got all the new parts laid out on the table. And uh, what we've got here is we've got a new axle. Um, ours is leaking, the boot. So just went ahead and uh, had the wife order a new one of those. All right, guys, so like I was saying, we have uh, we got a buddy across the street, Edward. Uh, we've been following the channel for a while. You guys have seen him on here before. He's the guy that brought the side by side over to pull the K24 down here. But uh, anyways, took it over to his shop, the SI that is, uh, and uh, he put it up on the lift for us and uh, he seen that the rear sway bar links were a little worn out. So he told us to go ahead and replace them. That'll be, those are for the front. That'll be these two right here. The one ending in zero three is the passenger side. Part number ending in zero four is the driver side. Rear sway bar links. Also have here the new boots for the uh, inner tie rods. Right here we have the inner tie rods, as mentioned. And 
then right here we have new outer tie rods and um these aren't quite bad on the front so i'm not sure if i'm gonna go ahead and replace those now depends on how all this goes with this axle because if you guys know you know sometimes uh sometimes it's a real pain to get these axles out as you can see on that k series passenger axle is uh stuck in there i'm gonna have to get the pull the slide hammer tool to pull it off separate it and uh I might end up having to get that tool today, guys, because uh, I'm not sure if that one right there is going to come out. So let's get all this uh, situated, get my mess cleaned up a little bit, my work area ready to go, some light, and uh, be back with y'all. Okay, guys, so we freed the strut from the knuckle. As you can see, I did this off camera. Uh, my phone was dying, so I had to get some kind of charge on it, guys, so I can get you guys at least this footage here so like i said before the mission was to replace the inner and outer tie rods and this uh passenger side axle as you can see we've got the axle out ready to bring out the inner tie rods got a tool to do that with just uh was trying to work on this axle i figured it'd probably fight us and lo and behold guys you already know i mentioned it earlier it's fighting, so uh, might have to run and get a tool to uh, bang that thing out of there because I've pulled it to where it felt like it was going to fall off its jack and it's not budging. So, yeah, just got to get that axle out of there and that tie rod will come out in no time. There's the outer one there, just the inner one left. So, yeah, let me figure out this uh, mess with this axle and I'll be back with y'all. All right, guys, so with this tool here, which I already got the one piece I need for it right here, just gonna go ahead and zap off these uh, inner tie rods. Just put your piece on there like so. And then slide this thing. It looks like a old school cop flashlight here on there like so and then uh just put your uh your ratchet on the end of that pipe there and zap that thing off so i'm gonna do it with my impact but i don't recommend you to do it like so but go ahead and get my impact on there You see, yep. There you go. You got your tool back. So the grease that my buddy Edward seen is coming from the lower ball joint. So got the wife right now working on that, calling around, trying to get some uh, lower ball joints for this SI. And uh, she finds those. We'll get these removed and uh, start putting our tie rods back in. All right, guys. So we got the nut paws marked with green paint marker on both sides in case it moves on me. We got our washer for the inner tie rod. So this thing's got two little notches. If you look in here on the rod coming off the power steering rack, it's got two little notches. So we're just going to line that up on there like so and you're gonna take your tie rod you're gonna screw it in like this here i slide this bar onto that key like that and you lock it in and now you can tighten it so And there you go. Just like 
like that. Got your inner tie rod put on. And you take the inner outer. down on that on that right there we'll leave her right there like that man it's crazy all right guys we went ahead and decided to go ahead and change out these uh spray bar links in the front since the kit we ordered came with them so hell what the heck go ahead and get them changed out so that's what we're doing now So we got our uh, old sway bar links out. Here's our new ones. Comes with new hardware. So just going to get these taken off here. And it's just easy. Put it through the top, the bottom hole. And put it through the top. Got your lock, lock nuts right there. Some major issues guys uh, like you seen in the last clip or the clip before that um, the grease that my buddy Edward has seen that he thought was coming from my axle boot having a hole in it come to be uh, my lower ball joint had a big old gash in it which sucks because those ball joints were actually K-tuned. So the young man that owned the car before me, I'm assuming at some point he changed them out and had them replaced with K-tune. But uh, they were completely destroyed, just like the true heart extended, bush, uh, extended ball joints are on my EK coupe. I don't know why these cars go through ball joints, but uh, yeah. The ball joint was completely destroyed. I'll show you guys. As you can see, guys, right here, the ball joint boot is completely destroyed. And if you're wondering why that's like that, well, that's another story, guys. I'm going to fill you all in on that. But y'all see? The boy wasn't cheaping out, the fella I bought this car from. He definitely wasn't cheaping out, but um, they were shot. And the reason this unit's looking like this is because, if you know, the ball joints on these 06 SIs, they've got two studs that come like this one here. There's another one here. And then right here gets a bolt. Well, this one was stripped, the nut, and there was no way to get it out. So I basically had to go ham on it with a, uh, with a grinder wheel, a drill. Oh, well, the tool lice goes on and on just to get that thing off. I spent hours yesterday, but um, yeah, guys, I basically had to grind down this part of it right here that was existing right here before I had to grind that down then you had the stud on this end so I basically I cut that off with a saw enough to where it was flush and then I grinded a little more with the grinder and was able to uh, get that one freed up because that's the only thing that was holding the ball joint on and uh as you can see here, guys, this is my wife's daily. Um, you know, 
it's been off the road for the last couple of days and uh, we've been using the Infinity, which we don't like to use because we want to keep it with low miles. So I know I'm cheaping out on this majorly, big time, uh, going to AutoZone and buying it, but I haven't had time to order any aftermarket parts and I really don't have the time. I got to get this thing up and going for the wife. So yeah, guys, uh, just went ahead and cheaped out on it with AutoZone, pick one up, it's just stock. That's the part number there. This is what it comes like. Maybe that's the part number again. Dang shame. It's a damn shame. Going from uh K tuned to AutoZone, but caught me off guard, guys. I just needed a car to get up and going for the wife so she could use it to get back and forth from work. So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, that's the next step, boys. Yeah, boys. As y'all can see, all the new goodies, all the new parts. As y'all can see in there, we got uh, new tie rods installed. Inner and outer, got the new axle installed, and uh, about to install this new ball joint. Goes right there. So, just get ready to do that, boys. All right, boys, like I showed you before, got the new hardware with the new ball joint. So, in here, we have the new lock nuts and uh, Carter pin. So just gonna get this put on. All right, we got that on there. Now we got the bolt. that gets threaded so kind of hard to do this with one hand and record, but as y'all can see, the bolt's going in. So, get this thing tightened down, I'll be back with y'all. All right, y'all see it? Got the SI here. A couple days later, after uh, fighting that suspension upgrade and that axle and everything, we got it here. About to get an alignment and the job will be complete, boys. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video so far. All right, guys, so there you have it. Uh, got the SI coupe over here getting an alignment done. And then uh, we're gonna be picking it up here in a little bit, so. All right, guys, so we picked the SI up from my man Frank over here at Rice Tire. He did a front wheel alignment. And uh, let me tell you guys, these upgrades are, you know, these little minor repairs like this will make your car feel like a totally different car, let me tell you. So. I mean, the steering on this car right now feels like a 2025 car. Tight, the way I like it. <laughs> but yeah, we just on our way home now, guys. Um, had a lot of setbacks, had a lot of obstacles along the way, should I say. And um, 
basically uh, had to cut some stuff out, had to uh, learn things the hard way. trips and 
days that we need it in the snow or whatever and really don't want to put no more miles on it so now the wifey can uh can go back to using this as her daily and uh yeah guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash that like if you didn't enjoy it smash the dislike doesn't matter it all helps the channel if you're not subscribed smash that subscribe button also hit that bell icon symbol down below to activate to where whenever i drop something new something new on the channel you get notifications you get to see it first so like i always like to say i love you all god bless you all and uh stay tuned we got more to come and uh yeah guys until the next one boys we out